Hello guys and welcome back to another tasty Blender 2.82 tutorial today. As you might know, 36 Days of Type has started on Instagram, so today we are taking a look at how to animate a text. We'll be using the Wave modifier, perfect for both beginners, both intermediate users, maybe you'll find a trick that you haven't seen anywhere else. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Open up Blender 2.82. We are going to delete everything in the scene by pressing A twice and X for deleting. And we're going to go Shift A and select text. Press seven on your numpad and let's go to top down view. Press tab to edit the text and let's write flexible, for example, yeah. Let's tab out of it and now we have our text. Basically what we have to do now is to clean it up. There's a very useful tutorial by CG. I think it's CG Cookie, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check that and put it in the description. How to clean up your fonts. For now, we're just gonna add a solidify modifier. We'll set the offset to about zero and then just mm, thickness to about 0.09. And then we're going to add a remesh modifier. Now, again, from our top down view, the remesh modifier actually creates a different, let's say more optimized mesh that you can use for your 3D. So what we're gonna do is increase the oak tree depth to six. I'm going to drop the threshold down to basically zero, and I'm going to scale it so I can have, let's say just a couple, let's say less polygons. Apply the modifiers and we can do so by just pressing Alt C and then select Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text and we get our mesh. Now I'm going to clean this up. Basically I'm going to delete both the front and back faces. So I'm going to press Z to go into wireframe mode, press C to get the selection tool out and I'm going to trace all of these faces just making sure that I'm not touching the faces that are on the sides like so okay so I want to delete those faces so I end up with this okay I'm just going to fast forward uh, through this cleaning process and we're going to take a look at the next step. Now that I have cleaned up the front and back faces, I'm going to just go shift Control alt c origin to geometry. I'm going to shift S and then selection to cursor so I'm in the middle of the scene. And I'm going to add a subdivision modifier just to flat them out a bit. Like so, let's say for two and I'm going to add a solidify modifier. Now you can play around with this, you can put the solidify before the actual subdivision modifier or after, it's more a question of what you'd like. So this one gives you just a bit more definition on your edges. Let's say increase, I'm going to get the offset to one so it goes outside and we get this. Now, what we are going to do here is we're going to rotate on the x-axis by 90 degrees. So we have it like this. We're going to press 1 on the numpad to go into front view. Add a wave modifier right here. So now, if we start to play this modifier and if we go out a bit, you can see it's doing that. Now, what we want is basically a sideways motion. Now, how can we achieve that? Basically, we're going to first go back into edit mode and we are going to extend on the Y axis, like so. We're going to make them just a bit thicker. If we go into Shade Smooth and we shade everything, we smooth everything out, it should look like this, okay? We want it to move sideways, so how can we do that? We're basically going to rotate it on 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees on the X axis. Just rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis. Control A, rotation and scale. And now if we start it, we get this. So let's rotate everything into its initial position, like so, and we get this. However, we want the wave to start at one point and then propagate towards the outer rim. 
and we can do that easily by just selecting the fall off. Go to the beginning and just adjust so it starts when it starts right here. Okay, let's press play and this is going to create this flexible little animation. We can then play around with the speed, we can play around with the width of the actual wave or if we want to like have a very continuous kind of thing. I kind of like that. I pressed 5 on the numpad to go into auto graphic mode because I think that these types of animations work better in auto graphic mode in many ways. So you can see it's starting to get like really trippy. If you go into the front it's like... Fuck. <laughs> So I think I'm trying to find like the, mo the, the most trippiest part of it. So I, I think here, I think this angle is kind of okay. So I'm just gonna add a camera. I'm going to press Control Alt Zero and I'm going to choose the autographic one. So let's see if we maintained, let's see if we maintained our freaky angle. Yeah, kind of actually. So let's increase this autographic scale. So it's it's really strange because it fools you that it's moving and it's waving. It's very intense uh, in the sense of animation. Okay, the last thing we want to do here is basically we want to find a loop. Now, the easiest way for me, at least that's the way I do it, is I try to find like the top of the wave for one part. So that's going to be my first frame and then I try to find the, let's say, move a couple of frames, let's say to about 80 and find the next end. And if I've done everything correctly, it should loop seamlessly. If it doesn't, I'm just searching for the correct frame and just jumping frames one by one, just fine tuning it so it works really well as a loop. Let's say this again, it has some sort of like laggy motion. So let's move a couple more frames. Let's go to 82. So again, it lags a bit. Let's go to 79. And I think. I think we're close. Let's try 70. So 78, 79, I think 79 seems to be the magic one where it loops around. So that's the best way. Find the top of the wave and then find the other side of the wave. And that's basically it. Choose your favorite material, choose your favorite background, uh, put in an HDRI and render. And you have a sweet looking wave motion graphic text. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this will help you out with your motion graphics animations or font animations. If you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the tutorial, consider dropping a like or leaving a comment, even subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. That's it. So see you in the next one. Bye.